Hello everyone, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will learn the definition of transitive relation. Compared to reflexive and symmetric relation, this definition is little difficult to understand. However, I will take very nice examples to understand the definition of transitive relation. First, we will try to understand what is transitive relation. A relation R on set A is said to be transitive relation. First of all, R is a relation on set A. This relation R is said to be transitive relation if ordered pair A comma B belongs to R and ordered pair B comma C belongs to R. Then if ordered pair A comma C also belongs to R, then we say that that relation is transitive relation. You try to understand here, if there exists an ordered pair A comma B and B comma C, you observe in these two order pairs, first order pair ends with B, second order pair starts with B. You have to choose such order pairs in the relation R. If there exists such order pair in the relation R, then we will check that ordered pair A comma C is there in the relation or not. If ordered pair A comma C is there in this, in this relation, then we say that that relation is transitive relation. We will try to understand the definition of transitive relation with example. I will take set A. I will take set A equal to 1, 2, 3. Now, I will take relation on set A. By this time, you know what is relation on A. In reflexive relation definition, in symmetric relation definition, I discussed what is relation on A. So, I will take a relation on A. Uh, that relation is like this. Ordered pair 1 comma 1, ordered pair 2 comma 2, ordered pair 3 comma 3, ordered pair 1 comma 2, ordered pair 2 comma 3. I taken a relation on set A. Now, I want to check this relation is transitive relation or not. See, don't check the transitive relation randomly by taking any two order pairs. There is a trick. With By using that trick, you don't confuse uh, to check whether the relation is transitive relation or not. It may take time, but you will get exact answer. Now, I will try to tell what is that trick. Now, you take the first ordered pair. First order pair. What is order pair? Order pair 1 comma 1. It ends with 1. Now you check that is there any other ordered pair which starts with 1? Is there any other order pair which starts with 1? Yes, you observe here. There is an order pair which starts with 1. That means you identified an order pair A comma B and B comma C. You identified such order pair. Now you have to check A comma C is there in R or not. What is A comma C here? What is A comma C? A comma C is or ordered pair 1 comma 2. Try to understand. A comma B, B comma C. A comma C is what? Order pair 1 comma 2. Order pair 1 comma 2 is there in this relation? Ordered pair 1 comma 2 is there in this relation? Yes, it is there here. So, it is satisfying this condition. From this, can we say it is trans to relation? No, we cannot say this is trans to relation with this example. What to do? We have to check for every pair of order pairs. Try to understand. We have to check for every pair of order pairs. We checked only one pair of order pairs. Okay. Now, see what we are following a trick. First, you take an order pair 1 comma 1. It ends with 1. Any other starts with 1 means this starts with 1. Other than this, any other starts with 1? No. So, we will stop checking with this order pair 1 comma 1. Now, you take order pair 2 comma 2. This order pair ends with 2. Correct? This order pair ends with 2. Is there any other order pair starts with 2? Yes. Here is a order pair which starts with 2. That means we are able to find an order pair A comma B and B comma C. You observe order pair 2 comma 2, order pair 2 comma 3. What is order pair A comma C? What is order pair A comma C? Order pair A comma C is order pair 2 comma 3. Please try to understand. 
if you take order pair 2 comma 2 it ends with 2 and this is the order pair which starts with 2 so there exists an order pair a comma b and order pair b comma c now you have to check for order pair a comma c you check that order pair 2 comma 3 is there in this relation a comma c is 2 comma 3 order pair 2 comma 3 is there in this relation yes it is there here okay good now from this we cannot conclude that it is trans to relation like that you have to check for every order pair okay now i'll take uh, this third order pair it ends with 3 is there any other starts with 3 is there any other starts with 3 no so don't worry you just leave it now go for next order pair you come to this order pair order pair 1 comma 2 it ends with 2 it ends with 2 is there any other starts with 2 is there any other starts with 2 you observe here uh, this starts with 2 what is that 2 comma 3 that means we identified an order pair a comma b and b comma c now you check that order pair a comma c is there in the relation what is a comma c a comma c is ordered pair 1 comma 3 order pair 1 comma 3 is there in this relation ordered pair 1 comma 3 is not there in this relation so what happened here we identified an order pair a comma b and b comma c in the relation r such that order pair a comma c does not belongs to the relation because of this reason we can say that r is not trans to so what i'll write here for ordered pair 1 comma 2 1 comma 2 is there in the relation or not yes it is there and ordered pair 2 comma 3 ordered pair 2 comma 3 is there in the relation or not yes order pair 2 comma 3 is there in this relation you observe it ends with b it ends with 2 and second order pair starts with 2 now a comma c is what a comma c is ordered pair 1 comma 3 order pair 1 comma 3 is there in the relation check it order pair 1 comma 3 is there in this relation it is not there in the relation so what we say therefore r is not a transitive relation simply we write r is not transitive i hope you are understanding okay now we will try to understand uh, the transitive relation with one more example this example is very very important see i'll take a, a set a i'll take a set a is equal to 1 2 3 4 okay I'll take set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll take a relation on this set like this. Ordered pair 1, comma 2. Ordered pair 3, comma 4. Ordered pair 1, comma 4. Clearly, it is a relation on A. Relation on A. Now, we need to check whether it is trans to relation or not. I said we follow a particular procedure to check trans to relation. First, we'll take one order pair. You take an order pair 1, comma 2. Is there any other order pair in this relation which starts with 2? No. Okay. Do not worry. You just go for second ordered pair. Ordered pair 3 comma 4. Is there any other ordered pair which starts with 4 in this relation? This ends with 4. Is there any other order pair which starts with 4? No, it's not there. Okay. No problem. You just go for third ordered pair. It ends with 4. Is there any other order pair which starts with 4? No. What happening here? We are unable to find an order pair which is of this form A comma B and B comma C. We are unable to find such ordered pair. If you find an order pair of the form A comma B and B comma C, we will check for A comma C. But in this case, you are unable to find an order pair in the form of A comma B and B comma C. In such cases, listen carefully. In such cases, we take it as granted R is a trans to relation. If you are unable to find a pair A comma B and B comma C, we cannot check for A comma C. In such case, we say that R is trans to relation. Please remember this. This is little controversial statement, but uh, it is take it as a granted. It is a trans to relation. If you are unable to find an order pair A comma B, B comma C in the relation R, we say that that relation R is 
trans2 so if i name here r1 r1 is a trans2 relation r1 is a trans2 relation in coming videos we will take an example and we discuss that that particular relation is reflexive relation or symmetric relation or trans2 relation so by doing more number of problems on reflexive symmetric trans2 you will get more idea and more clarity about this relations chapters i hope you understand this class if you like this video please press like button and share it with your friends if you have any doubts please comment in comment section and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to get more updates thank you